Maybe Living to 100 is a popularity contest after all. In 2006, during Blue Zone's first visit to Costa Rica, we met 99-year-old Panchita. In America, only one in seven women over 100 can even take care of themselves. Panchita not only lives alone, she splits log and clears the bush with an enormous machete. And last November, when she turned 100, the entire village celebrated with her. We started our day by following Panchita's 80-year-old son as he biked to her house to check up on her as he does every morning at around 7. Panchita had already been up since 4 and was busy sweeping the jungle floor outside of her house. She invited us in to sit and talk. Her energy was contagious and much of what she said was followed by a whooping cry of joy. I learned that she's actually of Cuban descent a niece of the famous Cuban revolutionary Antonio Macedo. Like most Nicoyans, she had had a hard life, usually waking at three each morning to make tortillas and raise her four boys alone. But despite the hardship, she famously extended hospitalities to travelers and sabaneros, or cowboys, who passed through town. She says she greets strangers as friends she hasn't met yet, with a hug or a warm handshake. As we talked, Panchita had an endearing habit of touching my arm to make a point. She returned even the smallest compliment with a blessing. And of course, then there was that magic laugh. She's still popular. On any given afternoon, a half a dozen friends will show up to visit or just help out. Her young neighbor, Luis, always stops by at five to put the chickens away. And it's not as easy as it looks. Panchita headed into her kitchen. She stoked her fogon, the traditional chorotego clay oven, fried eggs, seasoned her beans with garlic and onions, and then cut fresh cheese. It seemed like a huge dinner for such a small woman, but we soon discovered she made food for us. It really humbled me to receive food from such a poor woman. Food gives life, she shouted. You must eat. We convinced her that she and Luis needed the food worse than we did. We left at six o'clock. By seven, she would be in bed. She'd pray for a half hour and then sleep. I've interviewed more than 200 centenarians on four continents, and one of the characteristics common to all of them is that they're all very likable people. They're interested and interesting. They possess compassion and an ability to laugh. I don't know if they are born with this quality or learn it, but it is clearly tied to their longevity. One Harvard study, in fact, shows that seniors with strong social connections are three times more likely to live another decade than loners are. <laughs> There's a saying in Nicoya, the richest man is the one who needs least. Panchita's wealth comes from giving from the heart and the people drawn to her generosity and spirit. Thank you.